Welcome back, this is Sachin again, and today we'll be talking about MTLS, stands for Mutual uh, TLS, Transport Layer Security. So typically when a client talks to a server, um, it needs to talk in a secure manner. So client like your curl command, any program, um, or your browser when is talking to the server uh, over HTTPS, that's considered a secure communication. and so typically when, when we hit any website which is secure, HTTPS, um, it's it's a TLS basically, you know, it's a one-way um, security where, and in one-way security what I meant is like where the responsibility is on the client side, like browser in this case, to validate the authenticity of the server. We will discuss about um, in more details um, along with the um, working program but for now just understand there's two ways to do that one is uh, the typical um, daily life we use it by accessing any website that's a one-way TLS where um, browser or client program validates has to uh, the onus is on it to validate the authenticity of the server however uh, MTLS is one step ahead and here um, it's both actually validates each other not only client uh, who validates the server which is contacting or communicating is the same server which it is claiming it is um, in fact server also does the same thing whether it's the same client who is accessing to me or not because they're geographically apart I mean um, they communicate over network uh, so of course this needs to be uh, validated in an automated f fashion all right so uh, this is a medium article which which I have published uh, today I am going to put that link in the description I highly encourage to basically go into the terminologies and understand the responsibilities of each and every entity like uh, what is certificate request what is certificate authority certificates what's the use of public private keys honestly I I see many people uh, kind of have like either not very clear or probably they misunderstand everything totally differently when it comes to these things so please um, read that all right so the first thing we are going to talk about is one-way authentication so let's see this diagram so here a client wants to talk to the server so the very first step so by the way um, as I have uh, already explained in one way is a client who responsibilities on the client to validate that it's the same server which is claiming to be server accepts all requests okay all right so let's get started so the very first step um, in the setup is let's say you have an application let's say typically a web application and you want to hold you want to set up your application to a some URL like https colon slash slash my server dot com based on this you basically generate a um, private key and CSR it's it's a request basically okay so private key never pass the boundary so basically um, as a server admin if you have generated this key you make sure that this stays within this doesn't go out you don't submit it to anywhere okay so this CSR is sent to CA CA is a um, certificate authority this could be um, in this demo what I'm gonna do is like I will be using um, self signed certificate so I will also act um, as all these three parties I will be CA I will be client I will be uh, admin for demo but in a real use case it should be a proper certificate authority like uh, very sign or digicert or something like that okay once this request is submitted to CA CA may validate it um, and then if everything is fine they will issue the certificate this certificate is public this tells um, that okay you are my server.com by the way when you are creating this uh, keys um, the one important field is common name and if you are intending to uh, bring up your service at myserver.com you have to give the exact common name and you need to access from the client to this service by using the same common name because against this common name the certificate has been issued anyways so this is a one-time process um, you created a request you submit to CA CA will um, take that request they will use their own public private keys and eventually create a certificate now based on this information you bootstrap your server now coming to the client side client will typically try to access the server uh, the first thing server does is to basically return its uh, certificate public key now 
how client will get to know that this is the public key of the same server which it is claiming it to be because your public key will contain the information like I'm myserver.com so at this time client will contact the um, Y internet to certificate authority and then CA will confirm that okay yes um, this is the same public key or certificate what it is claiming it is uh, okay so at this point till point number six client is sure that okay this is the guy which it is telling it is like server in this case and uh, now the handshake process like uh, it's already started at this stage now the if it if it's a like typically a web browser now because they have the public key or certificate from the server it will generate a session key using this public key it will encrypt it and send the data to the server now nobody can decrypt in between because because decryption done is done via only private key and which is within this boundary I mean which is with the server so uh, one server gets that it can decrypt it uh, and then it can get that session key this session key is a symmetric key uh, what means is like um, using this symmetric key you can actually um, encrypt and decrypt the data both ways and that is like computationally less expensive so um, that's how uh, for this kind of communication it is done anyway so this is the whole handshake bus but that's not the focus of um, this video I'm totally going to focus on one way and primarily on the MTLS side so let's get back to this so at this time um, client is communicating um, to the server and at step number six when I am saying like you know it's responsibility on the client side to validate the server and that happens at point number six at this time client is assured okay this is the server uh, same server which it is claiming it is you can see a um, curl command over here where okay. all right so now let's go back to the um, okay these are typically the commands uh, it's nothing great this is basically to create your root key and root salt basically it will be used by the CA consider like they are private to the CA and um, now here as a server you will uh, create a CSR and a server key basically these two keys CSR imagine that you send the CSR to um, the um, CA and CA will use its own root certificate and root key as an input and it's also take server um, request as well and produce the cert certificate server dot cert this cert is nothing but this particular green key which is sent back to the server now taking these two information in like server will um, take its both its key and the certificate generates a dot p2 file using this dot p2 file eventually it will create a my server key store dot jks basically it will eventually generate a key store now using that uh, key store um, it can you know um, the service can be started over HTTPS all right so before I explain the trust store let's quickly come back and visit the two-way authentication which is basically MTLS mutual transport layer security where uh, not only client which needs to validate the server but server also needs to validate the request is coming to the same client which it allows so how it is done is by using a trust store so you see this example and the previous one is almost very similar except um, it has a trust store so what is a trust store so in key store if you remember um, um, it has been created from a p p12 file and then p12 file has been created using the certificate and the key so basically your key store uh, contains your keys and certificate right um, this is for this server the trust store if is like um, if you want to allow only those clients you need to contain the certificate of those clients so for example this is a root CA the root certificate authority right and if you import that certificate the the cert file into into this trust store which means any client who who has been issued the certificate by this certificate authority would be able to access this application so for example if this CA has I mean you have imported 
um, the root certificate of this CA into the trust store and bootstrap your application. This client uh, separately created its uh, public and private, I mean, uh, CSR and the private key. And this, uh, this root authority has, um, you know, signed its requests and issued the certificate, which means this client will be able to access to the service and nobody else. However, in this case, if you see the command is a little different. In this case, uh, the curl command will contain the key and certificate file for this client, which which um, which ensures it is this particular client and the CSR for the root CA. And then you access to this uh, server. All right, so I hope um, this is clear. Let's quickly jump back and continue from the commands. This is the single command which will create um, the trust store and import the root certificate in that. Okay, and using um, this command, just like uh, the server which, which we did, we created the key and the request, and the CA will use its own key and certificate. It will take your CSR into consideration and produce the certificate. Now the client will have uh, its own key and certificate. Okay. All right. This command is not being used. You can totally ignore the last one. So this is about theory. Let's quickly see in working. So all you need to do is go to this GitHub repository and clone it. I have already done that. And this is my project. The only thing you need to do here is go to scripts and scripts.sh change this project path according to the location where you have uh, checked out your code. Like in my case, it is user such in work workspace WS and TLS demo. All right. Now you see under resources, it's only application.yml file, but what I'm going to plan to do is to execute all these commands, which we have just discussed and eventually create a key store and trust store, um, primarily named as my server key store and my, um, server trust store and their password, every other password I have given is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for, um, simplicity to start with only for one way. I name commenting out the line number 12 client auth. basically it tells that client also needs to authenticate. Um, all right, so let's get it started the certificate. So let's go to the scripts. Once you have changed this project directory to the one where you have checked out your code, all you need to do is just control a control C because all these commands are already here and they will, um, echo everything inside and eventually create everything, whatever we have discussed over here. If you want, you can change, change your, um, uh, root certificate authority, common name or server, common name or client, common name. But even if you don't change it, this demo will still work. Okay. So let's copy the content, go to your terminal and then paste it. Uh, come back and you see there is a work and search directory. Even if it, you have not created, that's fine. Uh, this is script will internally create that. If you see the line number 15, this will create that directory. So don't worry about if it is not there right now, it is empty and there is nothing inside the source main resources folder, except application.yml file, which we have just seen it enter. So now you see every information is pre-filled. And eventually if you see this particular line, I hope everything is successful and you come back here and you see everything, whatever we discussed has been created. But the thing which we will be using is your key store and trust store. And this script eventually will copy into your source main resources folder. So you have to do absolutely nothing. Your files are already copied over here. Now just make sure that client art is commented out, which means we are implementing the first part, the one way uh, side of it. That's it. Um, now just go to your terminal. Okay. Uh, we can clean a spring boot run. Perfect. So meanwhile, it is running, um, as I told that, um, all these certificates have been generated, um, using the common name and probably in document, you see it is my server.com, but in this script and everywhere I'm using, which I've changed it later is, uh, API hyphen server dot com. So that's fine. Uh, that matches with everything and this key alias over here. And all you need to do is let me clear my screen. Let's see. 
your host file you need to make an entry so that because this remember this certificate is being issued um, under this common name so you need to access this service using this name only you cannot use localhost or anything else now all right so which means um, sorry which means if I say ping this it totally resolves that name perfect so all I'm gonna do here is just go down um, okay and find these commands so this should result into an error because um, a client has no way to validate um, you know whether it's the right server or not until and unless you you say okay I don't care I just want to ignore it and use a hyphen K which is insecure option so client does not want to validate it and then um, okay um, let me type this called hyphen K hyphen X get as colon slash API eight four four three perfect so I'm getting the response but how um, in a legitimate way you can make a call to the server um, so that you know client is uh, confirmed like you know that yes I have validated that so I'm just ignoring hyphen K option and again printing out everything but this case um, as long as you provide a CA third option which means client trust this certificate in this case um, once the response come from server which has also been issued by the same um, certificate authority like self-signed certificate in my case it will not complain so all I'm gonna do here is in fact let me go to first that directory okay and this is the directory where all my certs are there perfect so this is my root ca.cert file perfect so all I'm gonna do here is copy paste hyphen fn ca cert and then root cert let's clear my screen and press enter and now I see even without hyphen k option I have got the response if I just remove it it will start coming complaining again anyway so that completes everything about one way authentication all right so now let's go to the two way the good news is like this whole project is um, also creating the trust store which is not needed on case one but it doesn't harm if trust store is already there as long as you disable this property now all I'm gonna do here is to enable that property and restart the application rest all everything was already there it had a trust store it has all the password all the properties set over here now what happens in this case um, in this case server will reject the request because client still can validate that but server does not understand the client until and unless you use your uh, I mean as a client you use your um, public private keys in the curl command so what I meant is like so this command which was working now it will start failing it because server doesn't allow it rejects that so to overcome that um, you have to use proper curl command with the keys uh, with the client uh, key and client cert and I have already um, just let me quickly explain in the two way side in this script I have already imported the root certificate into the trust store and bootstrapped it from the client side I have already created um, the private key the CSR and using the same certificate authority the CSR has been signed and the certificate has been issued which means and this um, and we have already we already know that this is uh, in the trust store the same CA root cert is present which means this client is uh, you know is allowed to call the server but all it needs to do is prove that it is the same client and for that it needs to use in the curl command its own key and cert so let's do that um, okay, let me clear my screen curl hyphen x get um, dps colon slash slash api dot com 8443 hyphen hyphen key um, and then root ca dot key okay hyphen hyphen cert 
root ca dot crt and hyphen hyphen ca cert root ca dot certified it's not i'm my bad sorry it's not root client has to give its own keys not i mean in this case client needs to prove prove what he is so he, the key then search will be for the client my bad um it should be i think client dot cert let me quickly check the name yes client dot cert and client dot key okay pass face also and uh, as i said like everywhere i use the same pass six seven by the way this is the passcode of the client key okay and i see that we can get the response in fact if you do not want to pass the passcode i can go one two three four five six seven eight perfect so this is a pure mpls where both client and server are authenticating to each other and then only the response is coming back i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, please go through um, this document uh, in medium and in fact this is a part two of it i don't have a video as of now I'm not sure if I will be creating it, but this tells us that how um, you can use Amazon API Gateway to securely communicate your Spring Boot application deployed in EC2 instance. So, all right. Hope you have enjoyed and liked this video. And if it is if it is that the case, oh, please like and share it with your friends. Keep learning. Thank you.